Okay, so as I promised, I'm going to uh, show you standard deviation, the same problem we did last week, uh, last night with the um, times and seconds here. And so we want to calculate the standard deviation. Now, first step we have to do is calculate the mean, which remember in Excel, the formula is equals average, and then you highlight the cells that you're going to use, and click enter. That gives us a value here. So you notice equals average. So what we're going to do is we have to subtract the average from each one of these values here. Equals this value minus the mean. And remember I told you use the F4 key to put in the dollar signs to make sure that it always subtracts that same value. Click enter and then fill down. We get all of our values. Now I need to square this value here because remember I want to get rid of all the negatives because if I add these up I get zero. So this equals this cell shift six is the caret button two. That tells me I'm going to square that value. And as I fill down, they're all in there. And I can make these a little bigger so I can show all the values here. So my next step, I'm going to take this column and I'm going to add them all up. Right here in my cell, I'm going to use the auto sum key and highlight those values and hit enter. So it's taken all of these values here and added them up. <clears throat> I now need to figure out how many things there are you know, that I've used and subtract one. So equals count my values minus one because I want to subtract one off of that. And I get seven because there were eight things I subtracted one off. Now I'm going to take my sum here and divide it by my n minus 1. So equals the sum divided by n minus 1. And I get this big long number, which I don't need all these decimal places for. So let me remove some of them. That's good enough. Shrink it back down. <laughs> now I need to take the standard deviation of this value because, I mean, let's take the square root. That will give me the standard deviation. Right now I have the variance. To get the standard deviation, I take the square root, which is equals SQRT, parentheses, of this formula. Close parentheses and hit enter. I get this value. And so if I do this, notice I have. Here I have my formulas where I subtracted all my values. I subtracted the mean from each one of my values. I squared each one of these differences. I then added this column up, counted how many things, how many x's I had, subtracted off one, divided these two values, and then took the square root. That gave me my standard deviation. The quick way, remember, is equals stdev. And yes, they have a dot p and a dot s, but I can just do stdev. But you know, for 2010, you can use dot s. But if I just use this, parentheses, I highlight my values, close parentheses, and click enter. All right. Now if I go back. Notice my values are exactly the same. So that is how you calculate standard deviation using. Excel. I can either do it the long way or I can just use the uh, equals STDEV parentheses, select the column. Now to get my range, remember it's equals max, max of my values. Let me make this bigger so you can see it. To find the minimum equals min of my values. And the range is just subtracting the two, equals the maximum minus the minimum. And so I have my range. 
Now to get the um, rule of thumb, rule of thumb estimate, I take my range and divide by four. <coughs> and I get 6.5 which is less than my actual standard deviation but you know not without of out completely out of bounds so those are the things that I showed you yesterday so that's standard deviation I hope you enjoyed it